Hello, everyone. Hello, hello, hello. How are you all doing? I hope you had an amazing week and I hope you are ready to start your new week. Now, we are going to be talking about how to customize your own personal facial oil. Now, if you use facial oil, this live chat is for you. And if you have not yet tried using facial oils, this live chat is for you. What I'm going to do for you today, I am going to show you how to blend uh, different types, different kinds of oils for your skin type. So we're going to do anti-aging, we're going to do oily skin, we're going to do acne prone skin, dry skin, we're also going to do a bit little of a sensitive skin and even touch on combination skin once we have the time. So this week guys was a kind of a funny week, you know. I um I have a lot of things that happened this week and uh, the world is experiencing a lot of crazy stuff also. Anyway, what I'm going to try to do is to make the show very very light and that mean you can take this extra half an hour to 45 minutes to basically just uh, zoom out from everything that has been happening and just, you know, de-stress a little, focus a little and uh, something other than what is going on in the world. So if you are on the chat and you have customized any facial oil for yourself, feel free to comment and feel free to share your recipe with us. Anything you know about facial oil, go ahead and comment now if this is your first time joining us comment so that we could give you your shout out and also guys give the video a thumbs up so that you know you support the channel by thumbsing up the video you support the live chat by commenting okay so we are gonna start off talking about us but what we normally do to start off is to give some a shout out. Our first person to shout out is our moderator, and it is Lucy. And Lucy, I've not gotten in touch with you, but you'll know later on what's going on. And we also have our members of the chat at the channel, and members are prime you know, subscribers that take it to the next level and become members, like Karen Magdalene. We also have um Jill Duchess and who else is on the chat? Jason is also on the chat and members are normally in green and everyone else is in white. So welcome to Sunday Chit Chat. Let's jump into talking about facial oil. The way I'm going to break it down for you today is that everyone that watched the chat today will be able to make their own facial oils. Now you're going to be asking the question, how is it that you're going to do that since everyone have different kinds of skin type? That is exactly why I'm doing this because it's pretty easy. It's easy when you understand how to choose oils for your skin. So the first thing we want to talk about is the difference between a carrier oil and an essential oil. These are very important in order for you to make your own DIY facial oil. Now when it comes on to carrier oil, what carrier oil does is that it is there as a base oil that you're going to use to dilute the stronger oils that you're going to be using to make your facial oil. Now, there are different types of carrier oil for different skin types. So we are going to go down and we're going to break it down for you. Now, when it comes on to carrier oil, there is a wide variety, but not all carrier oil is good for each and every one of you. If you have dry skin, for instance, your perfect carrier oil will be jojoba oil and grapeseed oil. Those are two oils that are perfectly light and right in, sorry guys, if you have oily skin, that is. If you have oily skin, your two oil is jojoba oil and grapeseed oil. That is because those two oils are very, very light oil that will not clog the pores, that will not create more oils on the skin. So for oily skin people, choose any two carrier oil that is good for your skin. The best ones are jojoba oil and grapeseed oil. Now when it comes to carrier oil for dry skin, you guys could play around a lot because you have oils such as 
almond oil, you also have kernel oil, you also have avocado oil that you can use on the dry skin. If you have severe dry skin, you can choose to use olive oil and you can also choose to use coconut oil as your carrier oil. Now when it comes on to acne prone skin, you're also going to be using grapeseed oil and pumpkin seed oil and even some hemp oil. Now these oils are oils that will not clog the pores, great for your skin type. So guys, please be mindful of what oil you're going to choose for your skin type. Now the last um, one that I have on my sheet is for sensitive skin. If you have sensitive skin, you can use grapeseed oil, you can also use hemp oil, and you can also use avocado oil as your base oil. Now once you know what oil you are going to be using on your skin, then you can move on to making your own personal DIY oil. Before I move on, however, there's a lot of you out there that struggle with identifying what skin type you are. It's pretty easy. If your skin always seems to be dry, it means you have dry skin. For oily skin people, it's easy to take a piece of tissue. When you're not feeling warm, press it on your face. If when you remove it, it's oily, it's a sign that you might have oily skin. Sensitive skin people know exactly because everything they put on their skin tend to either irritate the skin or cause, you know, um, you know, little marking and stuff like that. I don't want to say the word next thing they think we are talking about something else. But when it comes on to combination skin, you also know because you're going to find that some part of your face always feel dry while some part is very, very oily. So definitely, guys, try to know your skin type is very, very important in not only making your own facial oils, but also in choosing what products to use on the skin and also important in choosing how to take care of your skin. So now that we're done with carrier oil, we're gonna go and take some questions and then I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna talk a bit about essential oils, which a lot of people tend to confuse with oil on a whole. When it comes on to carrier oil, carrier oils are normally plant-based. They're either from plants, nuts, or seeds, they are plant-based, okay? Once you know that carrier oil is plant-based, you are good to go, all right? Now, when we're talking about plant-based, we're talking about like olive oil, we're talking about coconut oil, we're talking about um, grapeseed oil, you know, those are plant-based oils, okay? Now, when it comes down to essential oils, it's a different story, and we're gonna talk about that right after we take some questions. Feel free to ask questions, guys. All right, let's start. Hello, Jason, how are you doing? I hope you are having an amazing Sunday. Karen, it's getting too hot for facial oils. No, it's never ever too hot for facial oils. However, I understand what you're saying. I am from a warm country, so I know when it's getting really, really hot, it's like you want nothing at all on your body, but you still have to take care of your skin. If you find that it's too hot, use a light oil, a light grapeseed oil. That is not going to feel heavy on the skin, but over oil will also get the job done. So choose an oil according to how you're feeling. If you're feeling like you want nothing on your skin, if it's too warm, then definitely go with a light oil. But you definitely need to moisturize and hydrate your skin regardless of the temperature. All right, Lucy, hello everyone. Welcome to another Beauty Skincare Sunday. All right, so we have Orgina Blessing. Hi, Chichi. Hi, everyone. Happy Sunday. Nice meeting everyone. Welcome, Madeline. Happy Sunday, Chichi, and everyone on the chat. And this um, Pentecost a Sunday. Um, good topic for today. Thank you, Madeline. Shouting out to Lucy. And hello, Larita Grace. How are you, Jill? Hi, Chichi. Hi, everyone. And we are moving on. Karen, I have a vitamin E and rosehip oil and grapeseed oil. So you have a three oil and I actually have a, that's like a perfect anti-aging recipe. You can mix all three together and that is going to create a nice anti-aging recipe because rosehip oil contains vitamin A and we're going to get to that at the 
you know, near in the middle of the video. Gigi, I saw your sea mask, mask video. Do you also use sea mask, gel mask? Yes, I do. I do try. I don't like the smell of it. So if you, you watch the video, so you know I really talk bad about the smell. But definitely, um, yes. Hello, Rita. You're lying in bed. Are you lying in bed because you're taking a break or is something going on? Let me know. Uh, Maureen Cooper, I appreciate you greetings from the Bahamas and shout out to all of you out there in the Bahamas. Hello, Pauline. I'm glad you're on the chat today for the support. You know what I mean? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Pauline is my cousin and um, yeah, I'm just happy to have her on the chat today. Fancy B, hello. See how I, you also have, hello, Shereen Brown. How are you doing? Um, welcome. And um, Dubai Gossip. Hey, any idea of what I can use in Dubai because it's very hot? And yes, that's exactly why we mentioned about, you know, using the lighter oil. Grape seed. And when you talk about Dubai is hot, like that is the artist place that I've ever been on this earth. And that's no joke. Anyway, I'm not going to stray from the topic, but when we talk about hot guys, I don't think you'll experience what it is like for a place to be hot until you get to Dubai. Grapeseed oil is amazing. And you can also use some jojoba oil and almond oil. Those are really, really good because they're very, very light oil. And then I'll tell you exactly what to mix those with depending on your skin type further on on the show. If you're just joining, we're talking about facial oils, how to actually create your own natural facial oil blend at home using different kinds of oils. And what I'm actually doing is breaking it down so that you know what oil to choose for your skin type. In case you mix, miss it, we just spoke about carrier oil and we went through and we talk about the different oil that is suitable for the different skin types. If you miss it, you could go back and watch it after the show is over. All right, so Alex Rodriguez, um, um, hello, Chichi, sending love from upstate New York. And thank you so much for that. And Rita, I heard my shoulder moving my Amster cage arm and a sling a while. And Rita, you know, it's time to take it easy, right? You got to take it easy. You got to take it easy. All right. Um, hello, Makeup Forever. How are you? And guys, if you're just joining in, I've been doing this show now for over three years. I've been on YouTube now, believe it or not, for four years. So if you see me chit-chatting with some people like, you know, Rita telling her to take it easy is because it's like my diodic subscriber. I kind of interact with them like that. But don't feel, you know, like, oh, yeah. Anyway, all right. And I tend to know a lot of the names, so bear with me, guys. All right, Georgetta, um, Chichi, do you think it is possible to mix turmeric and sea mask um, for the gel mask? Of course it is. However, I suggest that you add a little bit of a water to the turmeric if you're using the powder, if you're using the juice, then that's fine. If you're using the powder, add a little water, blend it out before you put it in the sea mask. The mistake I made when I actually tried that was to just pour the turmeric powder in the sea mask and it's like clog it. So definitely blend it out first. Asha vibe. Actually, please, can you look into neem oil for hyperpigmentation? And I've already looked into neem oil. I actually have neem oil here that I use for other purposes. And I think I made just one video using the neem oil, but I can bring you guys some videos if you want me on neem oil. Amazing for antibacterial and anti-inflammatory purposes. Also, Tina Udunka. Now guys, if you're watching and I mispronounce your name, do not take it personal, okay? I have a, a very diarrheic subscriber that actually emailed me to let me know that I'm constantly pronouncing her name wrong. And I said, I was going to shout her out if she's on with the right pronunciation that is. So bear with me, guys. You know, some people names a little tough to pronounce. I would admit that I'm good at pronouncing names, but if I mess your name up, do not be offended by uh, by it. People have messed my name up all the time. My, oh, you guys want to know my name? My name is Morvet, okay? M-A-R-V-E-T. That is my real name. And most people call me Margaret, Marbet, all kind of things apart from Marbet. So now you guys know. Hello, I'm Marbet. 
All right, so let's move on. But for my channel, this Chichi Beauty that is. And in case you're wondering how I came up with this Chichi Beauty, Chichi Beauty, Chichi is actually my pet name given to me by my grandfather. And that was because they think that, well, they claim that I was like this. I'm not even going to use the word miserable. But I was a kid that is a little sensitive to everything. I ask a lot of questions. I touch everything. I fix everything neat, how it's supposed to fix, and all of that. You mess it up, I fix it back. And some people don't like I still do that when I do family. I rearrange things and all of that. So that's how the name Chichi come about. So in honor of my grandfather, I named my show, my channel, Chichi. And if I go to Jamaica, like my immediate family, they will definitely call me Chichi. Some people think that it is kitschy, but it's really chichi. I couldn't get the C, so I turned it into a K. So the pronunciation for the channel name is Chichi Beauty. All right, so now that that is out of wood, it's nice to have a little bit of a thing during the process. All right, let's talk about carry um, essential oils now. We finished with carrier oil, we're going to talk about essential oil. Now, essential oils, guys, are normally distilled oils, okay? They are not made from plant. They are normally distilled oil. And distill is a process to you know, vaporize, blah, 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 which we won't get into right now. Most essential oils are made from stuff like petals. They're made from stuff like leaves and barks and stems and root, okay? So that's how you get the essential oils. They are also made from like the peel you know i mentioned bark but like orange peel lemon peel and you know um flowers like lavender geranium and all of that so that is the difference between essential oil and the process of making essential oil is that they actually have to use a carrier oil and then they kind of distill and infuse and that's how you get essential oil so be mindful know the difference between essential oil and carrier oil. Now, I do not recommend putting any form of essential oil directly on the skin. Essential oils are made to mix with something, whether you're gonna mix it with water, whether you're gonna mix it with a carrier oil. In this case, I suggest that you mix the essential oils with your carrier oil. Now, let's say for um, three tablespoons, of your carrier oil, all you need is like one drop of essential oil. Essential oil is supposed to be only 1%, but I'm not gonna confuse you guys with all the proper measurements and all of that. But just know that when you're using essential oils, it's just one to two drops. That's the easiest way for me to explain it to you. Now, when you have a carrier oil, you can add an essential oil to the carrier oil. You're making your own oil, okay? No, I normally be like, oh, I'm just going to use the essential oil that I like. I like the fragrance to it, so I'm going to use it. However, that is not so when it comes on to your skin. You also have different types of essential oils that is good for a different skin type. Okay, so I'm going to go through that today. And let me see what I have here um, on my paper. I'm not used to using um notes guys and i'm trying to use some notes today but as you can see i'm not doing well with it because i'm not familiar with notes when i'm talking to you guys all right so when it comes on to oily skin there are uh, three essential oils that i choose that is good for your skin the first one is going to be lavender essential oil the next oil is norelli oil i don't use norelli oil on my channel but i do use it at home we also have frankincense oil, which someone asked about last week, and I already explained why I don't use a lot of frankincense oil on my channel. But for oily skin people, try to use essential oil, lavender oil, um, norelli oil, and you can also use frankincense oil. Those are three oils that are good. There are more, but I just chose three today. When it comes on to anti-aging, which is like, right up my alley, you guys know that's what I like. That is lavender oil, carrot seed oil, and you're gonna question whether carrot seed oil is essential oil. Not all carrot seed oils are essential oil, but they do have carrot seed essential oil and carrot seed oil, okay? Oops. 
but I just drop it in there because I want to drop papaya seed oil in there too but you know I'm gonna leave those for special oil so for anti-aging you can also use rose oil rose essential oil that is and you can also use gerodium essential oil okay for anti-aging for acne this is the easiest one you can use tea tree oil essential oil and you can use M essential oils you can even use some sage essential oils for acne prone skin which skin am I forgetting um, sensitive skin lavender essential oil and Norelli essential oil did I miss any skin right here all right so we have oily skin we have dry for dry skin Elan Elan lavender myrrh and gerodium those are the essential oils that you need now the reason why I just rushed through the essential oils because people still is going to use the essential oils that they like orange essential oils is an essential oil that I like and that I recommend for most of you guys regardless of your skin type that's orange essential oils now please note that nowadays they have so many different kinds of essential oils they have essential oils that are all petal they have essential oils that are all fruits and they also have essential oils that are all you know from like spice and roots and stuff like that I like petals and I like um, fruits essential oil along with um, a little bit of uh, herb essential oil like the sage essential oil is extremely good so play around with the essential oils but know which which scent is good for your skin type and I just gave a few so now guys when you have your carrier oil you're gonna have a few drops so let's start with um, three tablespoons of carrier oil to one drops what two drops of essential oil and that is your base for making your DIY facial oil choose your carrier oil for your skin type and choose your essential oil for your skin type and now guys we are gonna go right in the middle because I'm gonna talk a little bit about vitamin E but we're gonna take some questions and then we're gonna come back to vitamin E and the reason why vitamin E is in a class by itself is because it is good for all skin type okay right across the board and anytime you're gonna make your DIY essential oil that is one oil that everyone should at least have to put in their DIY the vitamin oil all right so let's go to the chat uh, makeup forever hello Magdalene Karanji how are you I love my essential oil Uchi O-C-H-E nature it's my first time welcome to the live chat Feel free to give the video a thumbs up. Feel free to comment and let us know what your skin type is and what kind of oil that you have used or is using on your skin. Um, Ifra, I-F-R-A-H. Oh, hi, how do I remove dark circles under the eyes? And I always, always, always get that question. I'm gonna, today I'm gonna send you to my channel page and you're gonna click on my playlist on the playlist there's an entire entire list of video for dark circles choose the ones that have like the most of views like a million views or something just choose any one of those because those are the better ones to be honest they're all good but you have some that people swear by more than some personally for me anything with um anything with a potato and parsley leaves and cucumber mixed together is my go-to plus others all right so we are moving on and um, Dubai gossip I've been following you for years but this is my first time live and I know because it's the first time I'm seeing your name so welcome 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 to the live chat Lisa um, hello um, good to meet you I'm seeing so much beautiful result on my skin thank you and that's Lisa Ramsey and welcome and I like those comments guys also if you are new and you don't know it you can send before and after picture if you send your before and after picture we're gonna start showing them on the live chat so send it to Chichi Beauty at gmail.com which is right below also guys if you have not been following me on Instagram start following me it's underscore Chichi and that's my Instagram handle. However, in case you're gonna forget, if you look below, you're gonna see the link in the description box. So 
you're welcome to follow me over there we do like short videos and we're gonna be bringing some new stuff over there a one minute video or three minute videos if you're interested in those you're gonna find it on our Instagram also guys they are merchandise and we're gonna be coming out with some new merchandise if you want to support the channel definitely purchase our merchandise it's normally right at the side or right below the videos that you're watching okay so just support by um, purchasing merchandise and if you're out there and you're good at drawing and you can come up with a nice logo for our merchandise for the channel we are accepting those also okay so that's just our little channel commercial break all right so we are moving on Tiffany John hi can I use vitamin A capsule in my anti-aging face mask and I could tell you are new because yes 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 that's what i use i always have my um capsule and if you watch a lot of those videos that i use vitamin a you will notice that i use the capsule so definitely use however please bear in mind that vitamin a oil is very very strong a little goes a long way three tablespoons of any of your regular oil all you need is one to two drops of the vitamin A oil. So one capsule is good to use in three tablespoon, four tablespoon, no more. And in one capsule, you're gonna get about three to four drops anyway, okay? All right, so guys, we talk about essential oils and now we are gonna move on. Let's take another comment. Um, Juliana, Gigi, do you see me watch your, it? oh yes, and I was like, Whoa, she watched my Instagram. I actually saw that this morning, Juliana. Tiffany George, thank you. Sharon Robinson, good afternoon, Chichi. Happy Sunday. I am working so hard on my dark on the eye circles. Take a before and after picture and send and let us know. Some of these oils is good for dark on the eye circles. All of these oils that contains like vitamin A and vitamin E, you can make an oil blend, but we'll do that in another show and use it for your dog on the eye circle. If you're just joining us, guys, we're talking about how you can make your own DIY face oil at home, your custom DIY face oil. Now, we have to actually go through the step, which might be a little boring, but it's okay if you're interested in learning a little bit about what you goes on, what goes on on your face so guys we are done with essential oil and we're done with carrier oil and now we are at the nice fun part of everything we're going to be mixing up oil so choose your carrier oil choose your essential oil and let's have fun with all the special oils special oils i like to call rose oil i like to call cacao oil i like to call um organ oil i also like even jo 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 all these oils which are known as special oils and most of these oils are high in vitamin a vitamin c and vitamin e now when you're going to add your special oil to your carrier oil and your essential oil you're still going to choose a special oil that is geared for your skin type if you find that you have dull looking skin you're going to use vitamin c rich oil in your DIY oil. If you find that you have a lot of wrinkles and fine lines, you're going to use special oils that is rich in vitamin A in your DIY. If you find that you have combination skin, you can choose to use both oils in your DIY. If you have sensitive skin, I'm still going to tell you to stick with your grapeseed oil, stick with some avocado oil because avocado, avocado oil actually can be a special oil or a carrier oil. But for sensitive skin, you know, you can't play around too much. So those are the oils you're going to use. Avocado oil is good, the grapeseed oil, their carrier oil, when it comes out to special oils that may not irritate your skin, choose more 
of a uh, um, lighter special oil, a lighter special oil like sesame seed oil. Another good essential um, special oil is the Bachi oil. And as much as you might think that some of you might not be familiar with the Bachi, I don't want to talk too much about it. If you don't know what it is, go on my channel page and click on a um, Let's Talk Skincare with Chichi Beauty live chat and search for one with the topic Bachi oil in it. You will, you know, get a, a you know, a series of um, of me talking about this batchy oil. So definitely, guys, all these fancy oils that I just mentioned can be used with your carrier oil and with your with your essential oil. Three tablespoons of, of um, coconut oil, which is good for dry skin. Um, two to three drops. Of what let's see the oil that is good the essential oil that is good for dry skin ylang ylang lavender oil or gerodium so two to three drops of lavender oil with your coconut oil and then you're gonna add some some fancy oil to it depending on what you're searching for so if you have dry skin and you are seeing the sign of wrinkles and fine lines you are gonna then add some rosy oil to it, or some cacao oil, or even some papaya seed oil. Now, for for um for oily skin people, you're gonna get some grapeseed oil. Three tablespoon of grapeseed oil. What is your essential oil? Essential oil for oily skin is lavender, norelli, and frankincense. So you're gonna add one to two drops of frankincense oil, and then you're gonna reach for your special oil. What is going on with your skin? Are you seeing wrinkles and fine lines? If so, you're going to use an oil rich in vitamin A, like the cacao oil or the batchy oil or even some papaya seed oil. If you don't have wrinkles and you're looking to brighten that skin, you're looking for firmness to the skin, the glow to the skin, you're going to use an oil rich in vitamin C, like the pomegranate facial oil. Now, if you have sensitive skin, what are you going to use? you are going to be very mindful of what you use on it. So you probably just stick to the base oil, okay? All right, so we are moving on for acne-prone skin. Acne-prone skin, you already know your carrier oil is grapeseed oil. And what you're going to add to that, you're going to add two to three drops of tea tree oil. Now, if you have acne-prone skin, I doubt you might be seeing, you know, wrinkles and fine lines. But some people do have adult acne. But you're mostly going to use a vitamin C rich oil like the pomegranate oil. You can also use some papaya seed oil in your oil blend. I hope I don't lose this. Squalene oil is a good anti-aging oil for, to mix with right across the board. If you are sensitive, not sensitive, if you are dry skin, oily skin, or combination skin, you can use the squalene oil and some might not be familiar with so much different kinds of oil there is a wide variety of oils on the market these days guys and that is why i don't just come on and say mix gerodium with coconut oil or whatever whatever i try to tell you how to make the oil so you can do it at home for yourself by choosing carrier oil essential oils and then you will know how to branch off in the different special oils that is suitable for your skin. I know sometimes this kind of a talk is a little much, but definitely. Um, Lucy is saying acne prone skin, vitamin C. Yes, vitamin C is good for acne prone skin. However, guys, when it comes out to vitamin C, please be mindful of the sun. I suggest that you use your vitamin C at night. Who can use vitamin C? Everyone can use vitamin C. Who mostly need vitamin C? age group between 20s and I'm going to stop right at 30, okay? And from 30 upward, you're going to be more mindful of the wrinkles and fine lines that's going to start pop up on your skin. So you're going to use mostly vitamin A rich um, vitamin. Um, you're also going to use anything that is retinol, vitamin A, anything that boosts collagen production in the skin. And the reason we talk about vitamin D so much is because it do all of that, whether it comes in the form of a facial oil or facial serum or a facial moisturizer for the skin. All right, so uh, Basha, please suggest oil for me. My cheeks and are pigmented in complexion. 
it's dull. I'm 45 from Delhi, India. I want my skin to glow like yours and firm. Please suggest carrier and essential oil. Okay, so for you, you have pigmentation on the skin and um, 45 years old. Now, one thing we don't know right here um, is whether or not you have oily skin or dry skin or combination skin. So right off the bat, the most important thing that I need to know about your skin, we don't know. So comment and let me know what kind of skin you have. And by now, after watching my show, you will already know how to figure out your skin type. Hello, Halle Stay. Welcome to the chat. I'm so surprised that so much of my family members is on the chat today. I thought everybody was going to be MIA, but I'm happy that you guys are here and you guys know that the show must go on and this is what we have to do to, you know, which I'll talk a little bit about at the end of the show. I don't want to scare my uh, subscribers, you know, to let them know what's going on with us, but we'll talk soon about it. All right, Tiffany George, can I, that was just for my family, guys. Tiffany George, can I use vitamin A and C together to brighten skin with, okay, yes, you know, I said, yes, 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 yes. All right, so, um, um, Bettina, I have dry sensitive skin. What can I use? Your skin is dry, and I'm going back to my notes. So you have dry skin, and the oils for you, which I could basically talk from my head, the oils for dry skin are heavier oils, coconut oil, um, avocado oil. Avocado oil is good across the board. Whether you have sensitive skin, yes or no, olive oil. You can use all of these three oils as your base oil. Coconut oil, olive oil, um, which one did I miss? Coconut, olive oil, and avocado oil. That's your base oil. For essential oils, what essential oils are good for dry skin? And I go back to my notes right here, and I see that the essential oil that is good for dry skin is um, Elang Elang, Lavender, Gerodium, and Myrrh. Those are just a few of the essential oils. So you're gonna choose whether coconut oil, olive oil or avocado oil you're going to add some lavender oil or some ilang ilang oil to it and guess what you are going to choose an oil that um i'm not sure whether you are looking for anti-aging or you're looking for clear skin or you're looking for tightening and firming the skin so i'm just going to throw it out there let's say you are looking to for clear skin you're going to add some vitamin C rich oil and a rich good one is like pomegranate oil some of you might not have that however another oil with vitamin um, C is um, orange oil but that's an essential oil so let's ease that out I'm trying to figure out um, uh, carry on okay papaya seed oil and vitamin C in it you can use that you also have papaya seed of butter you have um, rose oil, but you do have more A than C in it. You also have um, over oil, but it have more, 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 more E than B. I don't want to confuse you guys, but definitely add one of those special oil. If you have dry skin and you look for olive oil, coconut oil, avocado oil, lavender essential oil, special oil according to your skin. Whether you're looking for wrinkles, whether you're looking for clear, or whether you are looking for just tightening and firm. Tightening and firm, vitamin A oil, and also rosy oil, papaya seed oil, dull looking skin, or oil rich in vitamin C, and pomegranate is on my mind, so use pomegranate oil. And if you're looking to tighten and firm, you're going to go back to vitamin A, which is like the same cake oil, squalene oil, any of those special oils. And I know that sounds a little confusing, but I hope you get it. Um, Eugenia, blessing. Chichi, what kind of essential oil can I use for glowing skin? And is it okay to add more than one oil? Yes, do not use essential oil directly on your skin. If you're looking for glowing skin, a quick tip, guys. If you want your skin to glow, let's keep it real. You got to exfoliate your skin. The, the base is to have your skin clean. You gotta exfoliate your skin at least two to three times a week. Do a facial mask on your skin at least twice a week. Now, what is gonna happen is that your skin is clean and then you're gonna apply your beauty oil. Now, for glowing skin, two good oil for glowing skin is the same grapeseed oil. Mix that grapeseed oil with some 
um, rosehip oil. But as I mentioned, it depending on what you want, but definitely that will glow. I choose grapeseed oil because everyone can use grapeseed oil and it is very, very light, okay? But it's also will leave the skin with the natural glow. Coconut oil will give you a natural glow too, but it depending on your skin type. So a light, a light oil. I like me some papaya seed oil and I have some special oils that I've been using recently that I noticed that is giving that glow. But mix grapeseed oil with any special oil and that use it on your skin. Use it at night, preferably. Pack it on at night and upon a rising, rinse off and then you'll see what happened to the skin. Oil goes on top of everything else. Oil goes on top of your syrup. Please remember that. I use oils directly on my skin when I make my own oil blend, but the proper way to apply oil is to put it on top of your moisturizer. All right, um, Brenda, is turmeric oil good for the skin? If you are looking to brighten like that skin, if you're looking for the natural glow that she just asked about, that is the oil for you, the turmeric oil. Mix grapeseed oil with turmeric oil and use that on your skin. Thank you, thank you, thank you for that. Because somehow I did not remember turmeric oil. Another good oil to use also, guys, is flaxseed oil. For anti-aging purposes, 45 years old, flaxseed oil mixed with grapeseed oil, a little bit of the turmeric oil, amazing for youthful glow. All right, so we are moving on. Um, Dubai, which oil can I use for oily skin to get the glowing skin because of the sun? Yes, the grapeseed oil. The, the recipe I just gave, everyone can use it. And that is why I use the grapeseed oil because regardless of your skin type, you can use grapeseed oil. Okay. All right. So Brenda, thank you. And we are moving on. Eugenie, um, okay. All right. So I'm trying to answer a few questions and then we're going to move on. Nani and A and I and... Uh, Franceco, um, you know, I can speak um, French, but whatever it is you're saying, welcome. Tiffany, um, I, I answered that. Now, my chat has slowed down, guys, and I know you are commenting, but I'm not seeing all the comments from my end. The last one I've seen is from Eugene Joseph. So, comment, comment, go ahead and ask your question. Michelle Carrington, good evening. Can one use carrot oil? with grapeseed oil and squalene oil. And that is a perfect anti-aging oil. As a matter of fact, that is actually one of my personal oil blend. The only ingredient that is missing from that is the vitamin E, okay? And also, that combination is good for 30, 40, before you start seeing wrinkles and fine lines. Amazing, amazing combination right there. Okay, so we are moving on and we, um, let's see if I miss any comment on the top. Please suggest oil for my cheeks or pink. Oh, that's what, what I forget when you mentioned about 45 years old, the pigmentation on the skin. In order for you to get the, rid of the pigmentation from your skin, I would suggest that you use a facial mask that has skin brightening properties. Anything with like um, potato, anything like, um, um, yogurt will have to get rid of pigmentation and i have rice mixed with potato juice papaya will also have to get rid of hyperpigmentation on the skin i suggest you use a facial mask with skin brightening properties leave it on your skin for 30 minutes two to three times a week and then you add an oil to it uh, a facial oil after you cleanse your face because the way these oils work they work on clean skin and for hyperpigmentation I do not, most oil is not just going to clear the hyperpigmentation like that. And that is the honest truth. So you got to do other steps leading up to getting rid of the hyperpigmentation. So exfoliate your skin two to three times a week. Then use a good facial mask on your skin. I have plenty on my channel. And, have, and when you rinse off, then you apply a facial oil. Anything that is rich in vitamin C is good. Vitamin C and vitamin E combine these good so search for oils that contain vitamin c and vitamin e and use it on your skin all right so we are moving on and where are where am i by now guys you should know how to make diy i think that's, that's the best way let's do some recipes since we already know now i'm going to give a good blend for sensitive skin 
a very good blend um, DIY facial oil for sensitive skin is to get yourself some avocado. And the reason for avocado is good for sensitive skin, it's good for all skin type. That is one oil that is not really going to irritate the skin. However, it also contains vitamin A, vitamin C, and also a vitamin E. You're looking for a good oil with vitamin E, avocado oil for the person I was talking to. So for sensitive skin, you're going to get your avocado oil. What you're going to apply, what oil you're going to use in this is some tea tree oil. I like tea tree oil. You can use M or you can use lavender, but we're going with tea tree oil. Three tablespoons of avocado oil, two to three drops of tea tree oil. And we're going to add a special oil to that for your sensitive skin. And the special oil that we are going to go with is some papaya seed oil. However, choose one that is suitable for your skin type. So there you have it. Three oils that you could mix together to create a very special oil for sensitive skin that's not going to irritate your skin. You can pair around with other oils, three to four other oils. You can add into it that is good for sensitive skin. But those three that I gave you can be the base to making your own facial oil. Let's move on to anti-age. I probably should have leave that for last. But let's talk about a quick and easy facial oil for anti-aging. For anti-aging, choose the oil base. For me, I like to use avocado also, but I also like to use a bit of a coconut oil and I like to use olive oil. So I'm gonna mix two carrier oil today for my anti-aging oil. Remember, I spoke about the different skin type. If you have oily skin, blah, 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 blah. We're not gonna go, I'm just throwing out some recipes, okay? So we're using two tablespoons of avocado oil one tablespoon of coconut oil. I'm gonna add an essential oil to this, and the essential oil that I'm gonna add is just one to two drops of the Norelli oil. Now, we are gonna add special oil. I'm gonna add a um, um, quarter teaspoon of cacao oil, and I'm also gonna add a quarter teaspoon of rosin oil, and that is a perfect anti-aging facial oil. Do DIY. Change out the base that I use and put the base, the carrier oil that is suitable for your skin type. Now we're moving on to combination. And combination also fall within grapeseed oil, all sweet almond oil, and, and avocado oil. Now we're going to use some sweet almond oil for the combination skin as the carrier oil. We are also going to be using some Norelli oil, essential oil, as the carrier, as the essential oil. Three tablespoons of sweet almond oil. Two to three drops of Norelli oil. We're jumping to the special oil. And the special oil that we're going to be using is some vitam vitamin E oil. Right across the board, everyone should use vitamin E oil. I forget to mention that. So dip a little bit of vitamin E oil in it. And now for this essential oil that we're going to be using, we're going to use some carrot seed oil. Carrot seed oil is good for the face. It's also good for the hair. I use carrot seed oil because of its vitamin A properties. So we're going to add some carrot seed oil. If you do not have carrot seed oil, use some rosehip oil. No rosehip oil, use some papaya seed oil. Mix all three together as your base oil. Change out the carrier oil for a carrier oil that suits your skin type. And you have the perfect oil for combination skin okay all right which skin type did i forget i do anti-aging i do sensitive i do combination skin for oily skin for oily skin we're going to start with grapeseed oil three tablespoons of grapeseed oil what is a good essential oil for oily skin a good essential oil for oily skin is um frankincense oil two to three drops of frankincense oil mix those two oils together a little vitamin e oil and then we're moving over to the special oil choose a special oil according to what you like we're going to choose some pomegranate oil and we're going to add it to this and we're going to mix it up no pomegranate oil you can also choose to use some um squalene oil for this recipe blend it up together and you have your own personal diy facial oil for oily skin i think i did all skin type i'm sure i did a recipe however guys guess what the reason why i'm just shouting out recipes like that for you guys is because we have a newsletter that we're gonna have starting next month 
to subscribe to our newsletter we're going to be putting the link below but the email address is going to be chichibeauty at gmail.com and we'll have it all written down in the description box once a week we are going to be sending out our newsletter and our newsletter is going to contain at least one recipe written out in full form okay so if you want to subscribe to our newsletter send the, the your email address to chichibeauty at gmail.com however we're gonna put an official link in the description box for you guys so newsletter guys it's gonna be fun because it's gonna be like I am sending you a personal letter every single week this is a no charge guys so that's another plus and in our newsletter I will be able to communicate with you guys to let you know how I'm feeling what is going on we're gonna talk about whatever recipes and so on and so forth and it's gonna be a weekly newsletter so to start chichibuti at gmail.com all you have to do is put in the title newsletter and you will be subscribed to the newsletter but we're gonna have an official link for the newsletter so we could actually group it together so be prepared for that all right so um Let's, okay, so we have um, Victoria 539. Hello from um, Tyran. Learn so much from you, my beautiful, gorgeous soul. Keep um, go, J O O O N, and you can keep good. Thank you so much for that. All right, guys, so today we talk about um, okay, Tyran, love the new newsletter. Jillian Walker, how are you? Hello, Chitty Beauty. We have Auntie someone want to know how to do a live chat. Um, how to do a live chat is you gotta log into YouTube, click on live, and then you take it from there. Um, Frederica, um, how do you do a live chat? Okay, I just saw that. To do a live chat, you just log into YouTube and click on live, and you know make a thumbnail and. Um, Use their webcam. You can use their webcam, or you can use your own, which is more difficult. I uh, use their webcam, and you're right into live chat, and you follow the guideline because live chat is a little tricky with what you want to talk about. All right, um, Rashmi Mika R A S H M I K A. Hello. I have oily skin mostly on my T zone area. What essential oil can I use? I'm 39. So definitely you have combination skin since the oily is on your T-zone. Now, going back to my notes, I'm really trying to use notes. It's not working out, guys. So you want to know what essential oil that is good for um, oily skin. We have um, we have lavender, norelli, and frankincense. Those are three essential oils that is good for oily skin. However, I would drop tea tree oil in there also and a little bit of an M oil. Any of those is good for oily skin all right so we are moving on um we have um a genie can one make use of almond oil and castor oil and vitamin and castor oil is an oil that i personally use if you watch my channel you'll notice i use castor oil the three oils guys to be honest with you the three main oils that i'm really into these days is sesame seed oil castor oil and also um um, sesame seed oil, castor oil, and the batchy oil. Those are three oils that I'm really, really digging. And someone sent me some amazing oils that I did a video on. They are really, really good. But when I check the price, it's so expensive. But anyway, those are some good oils also, okay? But I started to see the sign of aging, wrinkles and fine lines, sagging skin and all of that. And the batchy oil is an oil that now can replace your retinal cream and all of that good stuff read up on it and i also dig in the sesame seed oil when it comes out to wrinkles and fine lines the sesame seed oil is amazing the castor oil is amazing the smell of it is not really great but it is good so you can mix all of those together there's so much good ones out there okay i'm just talking about like the common ones all right but definitely yes is the read where do i get the stuff to buy most if you want okay let's keep it real there's this company that reached out to me recently okay and little old me was like uh, 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 uh. but it's a company that made like amazing oils like carrot seed oil papaya seed oil you name it butter blah 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 i you know 
didn't get didn't like at first but i'm actually in cahoots with them coming up with some nice blended oil so that is gonna be out pretty 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 soon however for now you can go on amazon or any of your favorite beauty spot your pharmacy or any places like that and you'll find some of these amazing essential oils or just google it and you'll find some you know whatever is in your town near to where you live they might have these things okay all right hello hk how are you um i have one i just came what is the topic the topic today is making your own diy facial oil blend and how we did it we actually let you know the oil that is good for your skin type by what carrier oil to choose we also went into talking about what essential oil is good for what skin type and then we have vitamin E oil in the middle that everyone should use. And then we have the special oil. And that is where we are at right now. We're talking about the different kinds of special oils that you can mix. There's so much oils out there, guys. Like way, way so much. So what I suggest that you do when you want to know about the oil, the first thing you do is Google the vitamin that is in that particular oil. Once you know what vitamin is in what particular oil, then you will definitely know what it is good for on your skin. So if you find an oil that have a mainly vitamin A, you know that oil is gonna help with wrinkles and fine lines. If you find an oil that have a lot of vitamin C, you know it's gonna brighten and lighten the skin. If you find an oil that contains vitamin E, it's gonna hydrate and nourish the skin. So that is how you learn how to pick oil from so many different kinds of oil. Name a nut, name a plant nowadays with other oil, and they're all good and they're all amazing, okay? So that is the foundation for finding your oil. Know the vitamins, and once you know the vitamins, know your skin type. Once you know your skin type, you know what oil is good for your skin type, and then you know what essential oil is good for your skin type, and then you know what issue you have with your skin, and what oil is good for that issue, and then you're gonna mix all of that together, shake it up, and there you have your special oil for your skin. Natural DIY facial oil that is custom to your skin. All right, guys, so we are done talking about oils now, and I hope you learned something, okay? I hope rose oil good for all skin. Yes, 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 yes. Vitamin A, vitamin C, and vitamin E is in rose oil, but more vitamin A than vitamin C and vitamin E. All right, so, um, and Juliana, I always love this channel. Thank you so much. Marabo, I think I spelled and pronounced that word, right. Anyone try the Karas, Kara, <laughs> Karasadi oil? I know I pronounced this wrong enough. Kesaradi, okay, Kesaradi, and I shouldn't really be messing them up. Anyone trying it? Let me know. I am trying it. I love it. That the, the honest truth is, I hundred percent love them. Like love them. I know they cost a bit of a penny. They are on the pricier side, but they're good, and I've been using them, and I've been loving them. If you buy any and try it, let me know. Let me know. All right. So, uh, Maya, what's your favorite body oil blend? All right, depending on the season, okay? Depending on the season. When it is cold, my skin tends to get very, very dry. I use a lot of coconut oil, to be honest. And I mix my, you guys see how I mix coconut oil. I mix coconut oil with some um, avocado oil, and then I put the special oil in it, just like my for my face. However, I tend to put more coconut oil okay or more avocado oil the carrier oil i use more and i like to put lavender essential oil because i like the fragrance i also like a little a bit of uh, orange essential oil for the fragrance that is in the uh, winter time in the summertime i like a light oil i use a lot of grapeseed oil with um, avocado oil notice avocado oil trend a lot of grapeseed oil and what i do with that grapeseed oil i add any of my favorite now i'm mixing grapeseed with sesame seed oil and i'm using it on my body so basically the same for your face is the same for your body it's just that you had more of whatever is going on with the body but guys don't shy away of using oil from your body also when you blend your oil mix you can actually blend like a portion the three tablespoon with the rest shake it up and pour it in your body lotion okay that's what i do 
pour it in your store-bought body lotion. You just take your body lotion from one level to the next level. You basically make it your own. So especially in the winter, some body lotion just not getting the job done and once you pour your personal oil in it shake it up it's not going to go bad oil can mix with any of these kind of body lotion but most of them have oil in it anyway you shake that up and you're on your way to beautiful looking skin all right just play around play around play around play around all right so um all right so they're talking about other stuff that yeah all right guys so that is it for this week and uh, I am gonna ask you guys a favor now I I uh, all right so let's do this let's do this guys attention everyone stop what you're doing attention attention now I have some news and this news is not to scare anyone or anything like that but a very special person for me actually um, passed away this week and this person is one of my aunt that lives in Jamaica Charlotte Warren she watch the show every single Sunday that she can if the miss if she missed the show something happened she passed away um, today's what Sunday yesterday so I'm in mourning I'm in all black so I'm in mourning. one of my favorite people on this earth so what I want you guys to help me to do is just to take one minute of your time, silence, just one minute, just to give her this special one minute. So on my clock, guys, I'm just going to take a minute of silence and you can help me out with this for my departure aunt in her wings, flying above. So we're going to start our one minute right now on the clock. And, and I don't know I get through that, but I know I'm a strong person. So that is it, guy. I just have to do this for her. And I think you bet wherever you are up there looking down, I miss you already. And you know, it's my show, and you know, I don't like to talk about personal things on my show or get emotional, but I miss you already. Fly guy, fly. Okay. All right, guys. So that is it, guys. My show is over. <sighs> All right, guys. Um, yes, guys. The show is over. I hope you learned something today. And I'm going to close my show and I'm going to go somewhere and sit in a corner and cry. But I'm glad I got the show done. And I just want you guys to, you know, tell you family and your friends and whoever is around you that you love them every day don't forget don't leave without saying hello don't leave without saying i love you don't leave without like you know just reach out and for those of you who have your your parents your family member that's apart from you from time to time check in check in because you might just take it for granted that that person is going to be there. And you might just wake up one morning or one afternoon and guess what? The person is gone. And what you're going to be doing, you're going to be crying like if I had known, I would, like my nephew, I was going to go visit, okay? You was going to go visit or you was going to go call or, you know, you forget. Like, no, no, no. Guys, the people that you love, reach out i'm telling you guys to reach out i'm going to tell you what happened to me my aunt watched this show every sunday okay last week sunday after each show she would send me a message to let me know if she enjoyed the show things i talk about blah 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 last week sunday i didn't hear from her after the show so i was a little concerned anytime i don't hear from her after the show something is wrong 
I picked the phone up, I called her, she didn't answer. I called my other aunt who was on the show earlier, um, Alice Day, and she didn't answer also, and I was like, no, 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 something is definitely wrong. So then I called my aunt daughter, like, what happened? And, you know, aunt didn't respond. Mark you, my aunt was a sick for a while. Then she said, oh, they rushed her to the doctor. Anyway, she went to the doctor, they sent her home, everything was fine. Monday, she called and she gave a message on my phone. Oh, I forget to want to show, but they had to rush me to the doctor, blah, blah, blah. I looked at that message, but because my aunt already told me what was going on with her, I didn't want to open the message. And the reason I didn't want to open the message because I didn't want her to tell me that she was in pain. I didn't open the message and I didn't call her back. I didn't call her back because I don't want her to hear. And Saturday morning, Friday night, I didn't take my phone in my bedroom because I just want to not have my phone around me. And I didn't feel like waking up. Like, I didn't feel like getting up Saturday morning. I'm normally up 5.15, I woke up 5.15, I do some stuff, and I went back, and 8.30, I got out of bed, and um, I came in the office, and looked at my phone, and there was a bunch of missed calls from my family members, and I knew it. I just sat on my chair, and I knew it. Normally, I would turn to my aunt, another aunt, normally on the show, also the Cylinder, the one that on my blog channel she's the person that always like trouble that's who i could talk to she know how to deal with me during that kind of a crisis and i called her and when i called her she's like oh what are you doing you know everybody like to put up a front and i'm like at the pass right she said yes i just knew it i just knew it i didn't respond to the text message i didn't respond to it because normally when i called her we talked like very very long and i was busy and I will have to live with the fact that I didn't respond to the text message. Respond to your messages, guys. When they're coming from people that you love, when they're coming from your, your significant others, do not put off talking to your family when you can. Because guess what? It might just be too late. And I hope you too don't block this video because I try not to talk about these kind of things on my show. But guys, it's reality, and if they block the show today, then it's fine. Let me just breathe out and let me just express myself. Guys, you got to love your family. Reach out to your family. Fix things before things happen. I love you guys. Keep me in your prayers if you believe in prayer. If you don't, whatever it is you believe in, keep me in it and my family. And a sad way to end my show, but I have to do this for my mom because she is like a dietist subscriber to my channel i love you guys go try some oils use it on your face you know look good feel good and i'll see you next week if you miss the lineup of video for last week definitely go and watch whatever it is that you miss i'll see you in my next video bye bye have a great week guys bye bye